1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 through 24. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Now I urge you, brothers, you know that the household of Stephanus was the first converts in Achaia, and that they have devoted themselves to the service of the saints. Be subject to such as these, and to every fellow worker and laborer. I rejoice at the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatus and Achaicus, because they have made up for your absence, for they refreshed my spirit as well as yours. Give recognition to such people. The churches of Asia send you greetings. Aquila and Prisca, together with the church in their house, send you hearty greetings in the Lord. All the brothers send you greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. If anyone has no love for the Lord, let him be accursed. Our Lord, come. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. In the final section of the letter, Paul exhorts a broad Christian living as well as acknowledging those that are fellow workers and laborers in Christ. First, Paul calls the believers to remain firm in the faith by being watchful of the times, and be strong and act like men. Although translated as act like men, the original word points towards courage. So Paul is asking the believers to be courageous as they remain firm in their faith. All of this, of course, must be done in love. With this exhortation, Paul proceeds to mention several workers of faith, those that were the first converts and have followed Paul since the beginning. Their fruits speak for themselves, since they have been a devoted worker of the Lord since the beginning, and they have found to be trustworthy to be put in charge of the work of Christ while Paul is absent. Paul exhorts the believers to be subject to such workers, meaning to follow them and imitate their ways. It is important for us to distinguish those that are bearing the fruit of Christ in their lives and to follow such people as spiritual leaders. Matthew chapter 7 verse 18 through 20 says, A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a deceased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize them by their fruits. Paul also shares greetings of other churches spread throughout Asia. What's more, Paul also shares greetings of two specific leaders, Aquila and Prisca, in his letter. Aquila and Prisca are the deacons that have shared the gospel to Apollos, the one that came to Corinth and taught the Corinthians. In essence, the work that Paul started with Aquila and Prisca has spread to Apollos and then to Corinth. Church as a whole are connected together by Christ, and even though churches are spread apart, everyone shares the love of Christ. This is the universal church, the body of Christ. As children of Christ, we are all together universally while serving each local area for the gospel. Paul's letter ends with a farewell and a solemn warning in the final verses. Paul's desire is for the church to be pure, and if anyone tries to taint the purity of the church, Paul is speaking a harsh curse. For the church of Corinth, Paul prays for the grace of God to be upon them, and the love of Jesus Christ revealed through Paul be found in them. The entirety of the letter of 1 Corinthians shows Paul as a warm and loving father caring for his child while being stern and disciplined. His desire is for the church of Corinth to walk steadfast in the Lord, to remove any false teachings, and to love one another in Christ-like love. If we were to summarize the letter in one word, it would be a letter of love. Anything we do, all that we do, is to be done in the love just as Jesus has shown us. As we finish the letter of 1 Corinthians, I pray that we may live a life of love that exemplifies Jesus in our lives.